Charlie just off the green at the first, her 10th hole of the day. No problem. The par five second, and here's her third. Explosive player, Judy. Yeah, a very quick tempoed uh, golf swing, even a short pitch like that. And that's one way to speed things up. Get in the hole quicker. Charlie Hall has the outright lead. She's bogey free today. She's five under. Sixty-seven yards today. Par three. There's a few humps and bumps in the green, and that's a good tee shot from Charlie. Like that one right away. Charlie's had success on the Ladies European Tour as well. Three victories over there. The last one coming in 2021 that was actually in New York. They played a tournament in New York, which they're going to do in a couple of weeks' time. Okay. At the fourth, Charlie Hall leading it by one. Hard leg left par four. And a great chance to get to 10 under for Charlie. Choose the events well that you're going to do well in. Yeah, that's a good point. If you if you want to try to figure out how players plan their schedule. Let's go over to the fifth. Another par three. Three, five, and seven are the par threes on the front. Did not like that strike at all. Charlie Hull. He's got the putter out from just off the green. And it seemed to run through that fringe pretty well, maybe better than she expected. Right. Did a lot of calculations this morning. What did you come up with? 2.1? What a life I live, yes. Charlie Hull for a par. No, no, no. She's always a very aggressive putter. Well, he said she didn't really look at the scores yesterday, and I shouldn't think she's really paying much attention to the to the leaderboards today. Just goes about her business. Doesn't get too flustered. Too fast, she said. Yeah, not too fast. Yeah, it's a good English term. Oh my God, I hit that so far, like, short. Bailed out of that way. Charlie Hall is going to be there. You know it. She played in her first Solon Cup at age 17 and was terrific. It's for birdie at six. Well, that was a costly, poor third shot. Should be a little less aggravated right, with it in. now. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think she'll uh, right, think about it much, and uh, that's Charlie's way anyway. It's funny, Charlie didn't play the entire course prior to the event teeing off. She said, I was tired. I, 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 you know, I needed to rest. Um, she sees this as a sport where she earns a living, but she still plays the game. She doesn't, she doesn't, she does work hard. That's not the point. But when she's on the golf course, she's playing the game. She would even drag her coaches out in the rain to practice and, and play. She was uh, really dedicated to getting ready for the 2022 season, but she likes her time back home at Woburn. Shot plays a little bit uphill. The hole is well to the left side of the green today. Three-way tie for the lead. And that includes Charlie Hall, who's trying to untie it at the eighth. About this time yesterday, we weren't sure anyone would get to 10 under par for the week. But uh, the conditions have improved, and Charlie's taken advantage just a single bogey. Final hole of the day for Charlie Hull. Looks like she's in the dog leg there. And that 
this is a very yeah good couple of days for charlie it's a good five round stretch he had three rounds in the 60s last week